Hello, hello. Welcome back, guys, to the Perpetua podcast. Um, James Rankin here, hosting it today, and I'm joined by... Mark Davis. Mark Davies. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, man. Um, so we've had a few good chats recently and uh, over the past few months since the last lockdown. Yeah, and yeah. one of the things that keeps coming up is daily habits and how important they are for us. So do you just want to maybe give a bit of insight into some of the daily habits that you use that keep yeah. you in good um, shape and good mental health, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, so maybe I, I like kind of go in, I try and set like a sleep schedule to start with. Uh-huh. So I'll like pick a time that I'm going to wake up, I think I'm productive more in the morning so like I'll have stuff to do or like I'll get up early. Yeah. That way that kind of plays into food. And then that'll help with training and stuff like that. Yeah. And then it's all kind of just a breakdown just from there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what sort of time do you yeah, typically get up? I try to be like half six and half seven in the morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. early hours, man. Even, even during, during even during lockdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I I'm feel a, like I'm just more productive. Yeah. Really. I'm I'm the complete opposite <laughs> of the minute. I kind of think today I got up at half past eight, nine o'clock. Um, but yeah, I think that's really important, like that alarm. And um, I'm better when I sleep like early at night. So like after like half yeah. ten at night, I'm like. Uses. Oh yeah. And, like find myself on bed like ten, half ten all the time. Yeah, I've heard that quote before. The the hours you get before twelve o'clock are more important than the the hours you get after. after yeah. So yeah, I still try and get to bed before ten o'clock. But yeah, my my sleep schedule is definitely up the walls at the minute, and I do think that that um that sleep schedule is real important just for keeping everything kind of taking over really isn't it yeah exactly it means yeah. then whenever things do open up it's yeah now we're kind of like i'm going straight back into the schedule i was because like as yourself you like you work 40 hours a week and we can work from five in the morning till nine yeah, at night, night and then you're back in at five in the morning yeah. so it's like important to have i think just like healthy sleeping habits that are going to help us day to day and what about um is there anything you do like first thing in the morning once you get up that you do every day or most days yeah. or no, not really. Like I just kind of I wake up hungry now. So like lately, <laughs> lately, lay, 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 James and all and all that's kind of know me, Robin and all over here. I've been trying to like gain weight and stuff. So I'm wait, literally waking up and the first thing I'm thinking about is food. I think so. I'm trying to just get calories, calories, calories. I think you eat in one day what I eat in two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's just, it's just basically kind of get as much hours in a day as you can to eat as much food as possible. Awesome. Really. Think, yeah. Yeah, I think it, that kind of sets a tone for your day, doesn't it? Whatever you yeah. eat first thing in the morning. So like you, I know, it's that like, if I get up in the morning, like, if I'm looking at my phone, like, you journal a little bit more, I write a lot of kind of notes, I've shown you them before, and um, as I'm eating and having that morning coffee, I'm actually really productive with my yeah. head, I was like, feel like I have a lot of fresh thoughts yeah, yeah, from yeah. there, and I think that, that's a good thing. Yeah, so thing. that's just your, that's, that's your form of journaling, so yeah. like, I, I, I just needed a little bit of guidance, I, I don't use that five minute journal anymore, but I did, like, and it was just a little... I suppose habit. <laughs> habit, yes, it's a habit. Really, it just got me into it. And now, yeah. now I've just got a notebook. And I've got. I think like that's notebooks. it. It's trying to try and I came from like maybe breaking a habit of always like first thing in the morning I open my phone, look at Instagram or look at Twitter, the and then read this. It's like, I think it's a really bad habit that we have. Yeah. I think that every and everyone is kind of guilty of it. So I reckon breaking that habit and getting more productive and say yeah. writing down like oh, one thing I can achieve today or one thing that's going to make me a little bit better. Yeah. I think that's going to be a healthy, huge habit to have. I think that's a. I think you made a point there and I don't even know if you noticed you made it but like replacing one habit with another with another way yeah, that's yeah, the big yeah, one yeah. so you see people where they, they quit smoking maybe and they yeah, they replace it with loads of food yeah, it's like exactly. they pick up a bad habit from a bad habit so it's taking yeah. that bad habit so one I've kind of done at the minute is around my flat I'm constantly reading books everyone who knows me knows I'm reading books but I have books that I'm reading I, I always have four or five on the go at a time right but I have them scattered around the flat. Yeah, so yeah. there's one on my table, there's one in the kitchen, there's one in the bathroom, there's one by my bed. Just so like wherever I go, go, yeah, if I pick up the phone and I'm scrolling mindlessly on Instagram, yeah. there's a book there. The book's looking at you, yeah. Book, book, so book. it's just, there, it's that replacement of a bad habit. Yeah. And then whenever I'm, whenever I'm doing it, maybe outside of the house, where I don't have my books with me, I always have a notebook. I'll take a notebook. Yeah, you're good at that. Yeah, so I, I can, can probably. Yeah. That's probably a good habit that I can pick up off you. 100%. I think that's good around with people that like you're kind of surrounding. And then yeah, if if you if you are with someone and you do have a good conversation, it's like I'm gonna write yeah, that. Write yeah. that down. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm not recommending yeah that you bring out a book, guys, in every conversation. <laughs> that you have to write down. Someone that's a bit weird. Out. But yeah, afterwards, no. like you can put it in the notes in your yeah. phone or whatever. Yeah. If if something I think it's healthy if you're around it. good people like that, that you're picking up good things around. That's it. That's a probably a different conversation than surrounding yeah. things. And then what about things like during lockdown with your training and nutrition and stuff? What sort of habits are you? 
Um, I'm just trying to be real accountable. Like, so I have a coach now that it's just, well, we're all not in a position to hire a coach, but I've kind of always found that I'm more productive with a coach. Yeah. And I feel like I will relate back to him because I coach as well that I'm actually going to stick to things more. So I kind of just try to eat the same things. Yeah. And then I'm documenting everything. I eat. So if everything gets wrote down, I'm looking at many calories. In. It's not probably a healthy habit to have, but I'm not, it's not like I'm changing any way that I am. It's not like a bad habit that well, that's I'm not, so I'm not restricting. Forever, yeah, it's yeah. like I'm not restricting myself to like, oh, I can't have this piece of chocolate yeah. or I can't do this. It's just, it's a healthy habit to know that I'm hitting certain foods that I have to hit. Yeah. And so that's do you, you, I know what your eating habits are like, but the guys listening maybe don't. Um, you're eating the same thing every day? No, I mix it up a little bit. Like I do mix it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. But like I came from a place where I couldn't eat a lot of food at all. Like so, maybe the, like the last lockdown, usually the same. Usually the same a little bit. Like, and I was like eating like I was eating oats in the morning, and then I'd maybe go home and eat like just like turkey burgers and pasta. And that was it. Some of that. And that was, that's all I was eating. Where now I'm just kind of like I'm after finding a good habit where I like what I'm eating. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of sticking with that. But I think it's just yeah. I think like it's just accountability to people then yeah. as well that's going to help. Or like relating back to someone, or having a little bit of accountability in yourself. Definitely. You know, so what um, when it comes to the food, then and Marky, if you don't know, eats a ton of cocoa pops at the minute as well. <laughs> but for most people, they're not trying to put on weight during lockdown. They're probably trying to lose a couple a of pounds bit, yeah. or anything. So, what sort of habits do you reckon people can uh, move? I think the, the the most important thing that we can do, even during lockdown, is like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's great, like that we get to the gym, we're all like mad on cross here or strength and conditioning whatever in but I think one of the most underestimated habits that we can have is actually just getting up and walking yeah or getting up to stretch just do something yeah not just getting up and going straight to that desk and sitting on your laptop yeah. for the day well that's something I've spoke to a lot of my clients about it's like whenever you did work in town say say you live outside of town right whenever you did work in town you didn't just get up and sit at your desk did you you had no. to go and get in the car or you had to get in the bus or you had to get in the train and you had to come into town and you had to walk to the bus and you had to walk to your office and you had to walk to get your coffee. Yeah, and like, you had to walk to print that page. Yeah, you just because you don't have to get up at seven now to start working nine doesn't mean you still Why should... break the habit? Why break the habit? Why, why, like, that's what you were saying about like people giving up smoking and replacing with, yeah. with bad eating. It's like, why break a habit that's healthy for you moving around day to day yeah. to just sit at the desk because it's easy. So something I've said to all my clients to do is commute. Like, yeah, get exactly. up. If you start working nine, get up at eight, go for a forty-five minute walk, have a fifth, ten minute shower, eat and some breakfast, grab we'll a coffee. Actually like a schedule. And then, yeah, exactly. And you're still getting an extra hour of sleep on top of what you would have maybe before if you had to get up at seven or whatever it is. But just like creating good habits, the good <laughs> habit. Around it. I think that is yeah. huge. I think that's really important. What you said about the steps. It's like I think it's just an underestimated thing. Like yeah. that steps are actually going to help us so much more with like yeah. body composition oh, and how yeah. healthy we are. And how good our body's gonna feel. Yeah. Like, what's better for your body than just actually getting your body to move? Exactly. Well, mm-hmm. it's like even like we're we all have like some sort of fitness strap or watch or whatever on us. And so you do a workout, you do a class workout, and you're knackered after it. You've trained hard for forty five minutes or whatever it is. Realistically, we've all burnt somewhere between three hundred and six hundred calories. That's nothing. It's nothing really. No. Actually, nothing. It's not. That's it's not half, even my ball of cocoa balls. Man, that's half a tub of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah, like no, like, and it doesn't take you no, an hour to eat half a tub of Ben and Jerry's, man. <laughs> so like, all the calories that we burn throughout the day are from walking and movement. Hundred percent. Like, that's it. Yeah, like that's you're, you're, what is it? Um, your man James Smith always says like, get your knee up. Yeah, like, knee, knee, is, knee. Yeah, I think knee has been pushed up. Yeah, usually like. It, but that's not even just steps. You don't have to go for no. walks, guys. That's things like your. Cleaning the kitchen, mm-hmm. yeah, cleaning the bathroom, hoovering, like all that little stuff where you, you maybe break a sweat without even trying, like that's the, the really, really important stuff. Oh, yeah. Like that, take the stairs, yeah, that's the, the biggest stairs. one. Never, why, ever, why ever, take ever, a lift? ever take a lift. Yeah, Unless you're thing. carrying stuff that is um, yeah, that's very, very heavy. Yeah, exactly. So, um, walk? Yeah, walk over. <laughs> so with, uh, you mentioned there as well, accountability, like you've obviously got a coach and uh I've got a couple of coaches now at the minute for business and training and whatnot. And <laughs> my my coach that does my training for me will know that I've actually not filled out my true coach in about six weeks, which is my bad. Yeah, sorry, Paul. Cool. But um, I'm working on it. But yeah, accountability, not even from a coach, but just like as a person. Yeah, accountability as a person. Accountable to yourself. Yeah. Like why like put yourself into um, 
it was say like bad habits that like what is making you better doing these bad things or not doing things like that. And like a seeing as we're not allowed to go to pubs, we're not allowed to go to coffee shops and everything at the minute, like and we've been you're fortunate with the weather actually. Yeah, it hasn't been it hasn't been like, too bad. You can go here. for and we used to do this a good bit during whenever the gym was open again, they would go for a coffee and walk. And walk, yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. And and I kind of find that when I'm walking, the thoughts become a little bit more free flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kind of open up to people a little bit more, don't yeah. you? Rather than that's just a, sitting there in a tree. Actually, funny enough, I said that to me the other day. We're walking the dog, and like I'm not kind of like big on talking. Like I'm, I can be quiet, and yeah. I can be kind of like, yeah, no answers and things. But she's like, she's like, in the, since we started lockdown, she's been walking because obviously her yeah. work schedule is a little bit better with the dog, and she's like. I've heard you talk more in the last two weeks than <laughs> in the last 10 years, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, it's just enough. weird. Yeah, it's just weird. So that just goes to show like, how important that is, that like, the movement is for clarity of thought and, yes. and being me. open and honest with people and stuff. So um, uh, I was reading a, I was reading, what was it, a podcast I was listening to about uh, habits, actually, as well, funnily enough, over the weekend. And... The guy on it was called Dr. John Demartini. Real, too intelligent. Too like intelligent. one of those really smart guys. Yeah, yeah, but he said something that kind of struck a chord with me. And he was like, fill your day with high priority actions to avoid your day filling with low priority distractions. So that kind of comes into what is important for people. So things like if you want to lose weight, but you're only getting 4,000 steps a day and that's a, I don't know, I think it's just, like if you're only getting 4,000 steps a day and you're not really, that's obviously yeah. not a high priority not, thing, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's, it's like so, your way of kind of saying to yourself yeah. that losing weight is, it's not really, on, it's not for Exactly. Ourselves. So I think for a lot of people, they need to sit down and figure out what is important to them. But I think like things like if you say, you set yourself like maybe to do list during the day, stuff like that, yeah, or like why not, why not, to. why not kind of um, set yourself something that you have to tick off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what I was going to get to on this was, for my daily habits, uh, you can see it in this book here, actually. Yeah, you write, you journal a lot. Yeah. yeah. I have a to-do list. And this to-do list is um, for today, for the week, for, like, a, it'll carry on, I'll score stuff out. I need to update that, actually. And at the end of every day, you mentioned about a morning routine. I'm kind of, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm more evening routine. Yeah. So in the evening, I'll write down what I want to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. And then that kind of tells me whether I've had a good day or a bad day, because... I'll sit down and I'll go, oh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what did I do? That I wanted to but it's, do. Always, it's always nice to have yeah. a shot off. So oh, exactly. Good. And then, yeah, there's it's a good, And I think that's yeah. a good habit to have as well, like a shot off. But. Yeah, that is a big one. But I think having that to-do list and being able to score things off and knowing what it is you're working towards and why you're working towards something. So, like, if weight gain or weight loss is your thing, like, you need to be doing the things to yeah, complement that. So that Marky eats... 18,000 calories a day or whatever it is. It's not 18,000 calories a day I sit on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's not yeah. healthy. You're still going to the yeah. gym. I still train. I'm still active. I'm still walking. Walk. I'm yeah. still hitting like 10, 12,000 steps a day. Still hammering those online classes. Yeah, still moving yeah. 10 miles a day. <laughs> exactly. Right, so before we come off here, what are your top three tips for people to create better habits? Um set a good sleep schedule i yeah. think like sleepable rooms things like that put the phone down now before you sleep Bring turn off netflix do things like that yeah, i think yeah. like that's a i just think sleep is such an underestimated thing yeah. that's going to like help you be more productive day to day yeah. sleep think, is the best performance yeah. enhancing that's it like you're, you're gonna burn more calories sleeping than you are in the gym yeah. so I'm not saying this. And you're gonna you're thing. gonna have more energy to burn more calories energy. if you have a good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be healthier. You gotta be healthier. There we go. So number one, guys, sleep. Turn your phone off before you go to bed. Number two, um, maybe just accountability. Yeah. yeah, but be accountable, not even to yourself, but maybe say, like accountable to your friends. Check yeah. in with your friends. Check in with people around you. Yeah, I think that's got that's always going to give you a little bit more of a drive. Yeah. Like so, like weight loss is your drive. Like, why not check in with people and say, I feel really good today. Yeah. I was like, I did 12,000 steps for the last five days. I was like, my, my meals are good. And that'll yeah. get them going. That's going to get them going. You're going to, yeah. like, you're going to better everyone around you then. Perfect. Perfect. Going to push. Accountability, I love it. And a third one, do you have a third one? Mm. Mm. Two's enough, is it? Yeah, it's sleeping accountability. Sleep I think if you're yeah. ticking that, guys, and you're kind of... eating Cocoa Pops, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if you're getting your sleep and you're accountable to a friend or a spouse or a coach or someone... That's going to get you 90% of the way, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 
I think it's just going if they're going to build up good habits between you and then like whoever you're being accountable to, which is going to be just an ongoing thing that's going to be a good habit. And then you're going to reach whatever goals. Yeah. Whatever. It really is savage. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ryan Marky, where can we find you? What um, what's yeah. your socials? Instagram, Mark Instagram. Davis 26. At Mark Davis 26. <laughs> That's me. He's got some content up there. He needs little to be bits. more consistent. Little bits, yeah, little yeah, bits. Yeah, yeah. Little bits. We gotta be better. Exactly. So, guys, thanks, Ramil, for joining us today. We will see you next week, and hopefully, we'll have Marky back on yeah, sooner or later. Yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thank you.